Hello students, today we are going to solve the miscellaneous exercise of chapter 5 of class 12 NCRT textbook of mathematics and uh, here I am not going to solve all the problems uh, this is part 1, I will make another part that is part 2 and half of the problems will be solved in that uh, video okay in part 2 so now uh, let us start so first here you see we need to differentiate with respect to x so first function is given here so this is question number one so now how to differentiate it so let let it uh, be represented by a y then twice x square minus 9 x plus 5 whole to the power 9 so we know that derivative of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1 okay so actually it is not completed yet then again we should uh, differentiate this x but we know that derivative of x is 1 that's why we don't use to show this part but here this is not x this is function of x f x isn't it when you have f of x to the power and then what are you going to do n into f of x whole to the power uh, this is f of x to the power n minus 1 then again derivative of f of x so that's how we can do here so first assume this one as x then you can apply this then differentiate this term which is uh, within bracket okay that's what you can do or assume this one as f of x whole to the power n this n will be here 9 you can assume like that also so now here dy by dx will be 9 into trice x square minus 9x plus 5 9 minus 1 and that's gonna be 8 and if you differentiate it derivative of this trice x square minus 9x plus 5 so then what you're gonna have 9 into trice x square minus 9x plus 5 whole to the power 8 and derivative of trice x uh, square that's gonna be 6x then derivative of minus 9x is minus 9 and derivative of 5 that's going to be constant so derivative of constant is 0 so for that is the this is the result what we have got now now let's move on to next question this is the uh, question here you see uh, let us take this as a this expression as y y is equal to sine x cube x cos 6 to the power x so dy by dx that's going to be derivative of sine cube x and derivative of cos to the power 6x okay now you can assume to send as f of x whole to the power n so if you do so then again you can solve as number one which is number one so then what you will get so if you assume this one as uh, f of x uh, to the power n then what you will get 3 sine square x again derivative of sine x is cos x then similarly here also consider this one as again f of x whole to the power n then if you differentiate it if you differentiate it then what you will get n f of x to the power n minus 1 then derivative of f of x isn't it so 6 cos to the power 5 x and derivative of cos x is minus sin x so here we will get minus sin x so, so our result will be 3 sin square x cos x minus 6 cos to the power 5 x sin x isn't it so this is the answer now let's move on to next question question number 3 uh, here you see let uh, y is equal to 5x whole to the power 3 cos twice x so in this case what we're gonna do in such type of uh, problem here you see this power is not a numerical value here again we have a function when you have a function f of x to the power again another function g of x then take log on both side log on both side okay remember that so what we're gonna do so we are going to take log on both sides so log of y is equal to 
so log of 5 of x whole to the power 3 cos of twice x we know that log of m to the power n is given by n into log of m isn't it so that's why log of y will be 3 cos twice x log of 5x so now what we can do here in this case uh, here we are going to apply the product rule okay if you def if you want to differentiate this here we can apply now product rule you can consider this one as u and this one as v and we know derivative of this form u into v is given by u derivative of v plus v derivative of u isn't it so let us differentiate it with respect to x then you will get if you differentiate this uh, y with respect to x then you will get 1 by y then dy by dx okay because you see log of x uh, if you differentiate it with respect to x you usually get uh, 1 by x isn't it but here the function is uh, uh, log y not x we are differentiating with respect to x not y so that's why we will get 1 by y then again we need to differentiate y dy by dx so that's why we have got this so now on the now let's let me clean this now here you see uh, on the right hand side uh, here 3 derivative of cos twice x means you can consider cos of f of x you can consider this way and cos, uh, derivative of cos x is minus sin x so here you will get minus sin f of x then again you have to differentiate this f dash x okay so then what are you going to have here minus sin twice x and if you sorry sin twice x and consider this twice x as uh, this f of x then if you differentiate twice x then you will get 2 isn't it then uh, into v that is log of 5 of x now uh, next part is plus now first function that is uh, 3 cos twice x derivative of this one v so this is u into derivative of v now so log of uh, derivative of log of x is 1 by x but here we have 5x so we will get 1 by 5x and again if you differentiate this uh, 5x you will get 5 so you have 5 5 gone okay so this part is nothing but uh, derivative of u into v and this part is uh, u into derivative of v okay so what we have done we have used product rule that's all so now simplify this one now let us take this 3 common and you will get 3 and inside it you will get 3 cos of twice x by sorry not 3 you are not gonna get 3 there so you will get only cos twice x by x minus 2 sin twice x log of 5x and this y on the other side will be multiplied here now let us put the value of y we know y is equal to this one okay if you put here if you put this value here then our result will be dy by dx is equal to 3 y is 5 of x uh, 5 x whole to the power 3 cos twice x and within bracket we will get cos of twice x by x then uh, also we will get minus 2 sine uh, twice x log of sorry let me write here minus 2 sine twice x log 5x so this is our result that's what we have got this is our answer now let's move on to question number four so this is question number four here so let us consider y is equal to sine inverse x root x okay so x root x so here also x root x x root x is nothing but x to the power 3 by 2 isn't it so if you simplify this x to the power 1 into x to the power half 
root x means x to the power half if you multiply this to then you will get this that's simple so we can write this sign inverse x to the power 3 by 2 isn't it now you can assume this one as sine inverse f of x so we know derivative of derivative of sine inverse x sine inverse x is what 1 by root over 1 minus x square this is the derivative of sine inverse x so sine inverse of fx if you differentiate it then what you will get you will get 1 by root over 1 minus f of x whole square and again you have to differentiate f of x that means f dash x you will get here okay so this is the sine inverse f of x now as you uh, compare this one with this then dy by dx will be 1 by root over 1 minus x to the power 3 by 2 whole square and derivative of x to the power 3 by 2 so that's what we have got here so now uh, on squaring this x to the power 3 by 2 let me write it clearly x to the power 3 by 2 3 by 2 if you square it then you will get x to the power 3 here and if you differentiate it then you, what you will get 3 by 2 here and x to the power half you will get okay 3 by 2 minus 1 that's gonna be uh, half yes so uh, this is our result and you can uh, write it simply in this way uh, 3 by 2 as this is x to the power half means you can write root x so that's why you can write this way 1 by uh, sorry x by uh, 1 minus x cube so this is our answer now let's move on to the next question question number five so here is question number five so here we are going to apply this rule derivative of u by v that is v into derivative of u minus u into derivative of v by v square we're gonna apply this now consider this part as u and this denominator as v so let y is equal to cos inverse x by 2 root over twice x plus 7 so dy by dx dy by dx will be root over twice x plus 7 and derivative of cos inverse x by 2 minus cos inverse x by 2 and derivative of root over twice x plus 7 by twice x plus 7 uh, whole square that's what you have got and here you see cos inverse now here you see assume this derivative of cos inverse x by 2 as uh, derivative of cos inverse f of x so derivative of cos inverse f of x is nothing but minus 1 by root over 1 minus f of x uh, whole square and derivative of f of x again okay so if you apply this then what you will get root over twice x plus 7 then minus 1 by uh, 2 sorry root over 1 minus x by 2 whole square and derivative of derivative of x by 2 derivative of x by 2 is half so let me write directly half so you can write this two here okay uh, then minus cos inverse x by 2 and derivative of this we know derivative of root x root x is nothing but 1 by 2 root x and if you have f of x instead of root x if you have root of uh, f of x then uh, this one will be uh, 2 1 by 2 root of f of x then then again you have to differentiate f of x okay so in that case you will get if you differentiate uh, twice x plus 7 then you will get 2 only and if you differentiate root over this one then you should get 2 root twice x plus 7 isn't it and this is the derivative of uh, this term 
टू सो होप यू नो दिस दिस इज़ वेरी वेरी बेसिक थिंग ओके सो हियर टू टू विल बी कैंसल सो फाइनली वी हैव गॉट दिस एंड हियर स्क्वायरिंग दिस यू विल गेट टू एस एक्स प्लस सेवन सो नाउ लेट अस सिंप्लीफाई माइनस यू कैन टेक माइनस कॉमन हियर टू एस एक्स प्लस सेवन then by 2 and if you square this uh, x by 2 then you will get uh, x by 4 x square by 4 and taking lcm that for what you will get uh, 1 by 2 root over 4 minus x square that's what you will get uh, simplifying this so here this two this two will be cancelled and this sign and uh, this minus sign after taking this minus sign common it will be plus then cos inverse x by 2 uh, One by two s x plus seven. That's what you got. Two s x plus seven. Now let us take. Uh, let us simplify this. So here LCM will be root four minus x square, then into root over two s x plus seven, and this is two s x plus seven. On multiplying this one with this, you will get this. And plus root over four minus x square cos inverse x by two. That's what you will get divided by twice x plus seven. And so this denominator will be multiplied here. Then what you will get twice x plus seven plus root four minus x square uh, cos inverse. x by 2 and here you will get 4 minus x square and product of root over twice x plus 7 with twice x plus 7 product of that two will be uh, twice x plus 7 root over 3 by 2 isn't it if you multiply x and root x then what you get x to the power 3 by 2 so similarly if you multiply uh, this one With this, then you will get this. Okay, so this is our result. Now, to do, before we differentiate this, uh, uh, let us simplify this term, with, uh, which is within bracket. So first, you see, if you take one plus sine x, now here you see, this sine x can be written as two sine x by two, cos x by two. Right. So. uh this one can be written as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 isn't it so sin square x by 2 plus cos square x by 2 that's going to be again one so that's why we have written like this way then this implies or uh, sorry this is equal to root over cos x by 2 plus plus sin x by 2 Whole square, so that's going to be equal to cos x by two plus sine x by two. Similarly, if you take one minus sine x, then it's going to give you it's going to give you cos x by two minus sine x by two. Now let us uh, use these two values here. Then what you will get? Why? So what was the initial expression? So let me just copy it from here. Sorry. So, uh, if you put these two values uh, here, uh, then you will get y is equal to uh, cot inverse. So one root over one plus sine x. We have got. Uh, cos x by two plus sine x by two, and value of this uh, root over one minus sine x, we have got cos x by two minus sine x by two, and here in the denominator again, here it will be value of this one plus uh, root over one plus sine x, we have got cos x by two plus sine x by two, and minus. Again, its value we have got cos x by two 
minus sine x by 2 so if you multiply this minus sign then here you see then what you will get then you will get positive here okay so here this two gone similarly in this case here this two gone so what we have got y is equal to cot inverse mm, 2 cos x by 2 by 2 sin x by 2 that's equal to cot inverse of cos x by 2 sin x by 2 and cos by sin is nothing but cot so we have got cot inverse cot inverse of cot x by 2 so you see you know cot inverse of cot theta is nothing but theta so here it will be x by 2 definitely y is equal to x by 2 so if you differentiate this x by 2 dy by dx will be simply half so that is your answer that's very simple now let us solve question number 7 here y is equal to log of x log of x whole to the power again log of x uh, so here you see i have already told you that when you have y is equal to f of x to the power again another function g of x in this form then you should take log on both side that is i have already mentioned so now take log here you will get log y on the other side log of um, sorry log of x whole to the power sorry log of x to the power log x so now you see as i have already told you that log of m to the power n gives n into log of m so you can consider this as log m to the power n then what will happen if you consider in this way this way then you must get log of x log of log x so now differentiate on both side uh, here you see if you differentiate this log y then you will get 1 by y as this is not a function of x though. so that's why dy by dx again you will get so and here you see this is log x this is u this is log of log x this is v okay now use this rule u into v rule product rule then derivative of uh, u derivative of v plus v derivative of u if you use this rule then what you will get first function is log of x and derivative of log of log of log of log x will be 1 by log x again if you differentiate log x then it will be uh, it will be 1 by x isn't it so it is function of a function this is function of a function f of g of x isn't it in this way so now you see or you can consider this is uh, log of f of x okay this part you can consider this way so then uh, we have got this now you see uh, if you use the product rule here then we should get again uh, v derivative of u v is here in this case log of log x and u is log x only so that's why derivative of log x is 1 by x so that's what we have got so here log x log x gone then what we have got 1 by x and plus log of log x by x so here dy by dx will be y into and if you take lcm here you will get x here 1 plus log of log x now let us put the value of y here if you substitute y by this value then what you will get dy by dx is equal to log x to the power log x 1 plus log of log x by x that's what you will get so you can keep the answer this way so this is your answer so now let's move on to question number eight this is question number eight so in this case what we're we gonna do here so you can consider 
this one as cos of f of x where f of x is a cos x plus b sin x in this case uh, i haven't mentioned here a and b are constant okay so i forgot to mention that so now if you differentiate uh, differentiate this cos of uh, f of x then you will get minus sin f of x and de derivative of f of x so this should be the result so here derivative of f of x that means f dash x will be if you differentiate it then what you will get if you differentiate it with respect to x then you will get minus a sin x and then that's going to be plus b cos x you will get this so let us apply that so here y is equal to cos of a sorry this is cos x plus b sin x so if you differentiate dy by dx that's gonna be so this is cos of f of x isn't it so then you will get minus sin f of x is a cos x plus b sin x then you should get again f dash x here f dash x is nothing but this one so if you put here you will get uh, so let me write this way uh, minus a sin x plus b cos x you're gonna have this answer now you see if you multiply this uh, minus with this then what you will get so you will get a sin x after simplification then it will be minus b cos x into sine of a cos x plus b sin x so that is what we have got we have multiplied this one with this minus one okay that's it uh, so this is our answer dy by dx that's how we can solve question number eight so now let's move on to next question question number nine now let us solve question number nine so here y is equal to sin x minus cos x to the power sin x minus cos x so here also this is in this form f of x to the power again z of x so again take log as we have done the previous problem last problem so taking log on both side log of y it will be log of sin x minus cos x to the power sin x cos x and that's gonna be you know sin x minus cos x to log of again sin x minus cos x so again uh, assume it as u and this one as b use product rule to solve this okay so uh, if you differentiate it with respect to x then you will get 1 by y then dy by dx and here using product rule on the other side you will get first function that is sin x minus cos x and derivative of the second function derivative of it will be 1 by uh, sin x minus cos x and then here you see this is log of f of x so this is a uh, log of f of x if you differentiate it then if you differentiate it you will get 1 by f of x and again you need to differentiate f of x that's going to be f dash x so here if you find f dash x here if you differentiate uh, sin x minus cos x then you will get f dash x so here it will be cos x plus sin x so if you differentiate this term uh, sin x minus cos x okay differentiating this we have got this now one part we have done then next part is v that means log of sin x minus cos x and derivative of the u first function that is sin x minus cos x its derivative will be again cos x plus sin x so hope you have understood this now here these two terms gone so we can take this common isn't it 
so if you take it common and one more thing you will get dy by dx on the other side and this y should be multiplied to other side to right hand side then y into what you have got cos x plus sin x is taken as common then within bracket what you will get 1 plus log of sin x minus cos x So that is uh, what we have got now put the value of y here if you put the value of y then what you will get let's put it so dy by dx will be equal to on putting the value of y what was the value of y this so if you put here sin x minus cos x to the power again sin x minus cos x into this part cos x plus sin x we didn't break it 1 plus log of sin x minus cos x so this is our answer that's how we can solve this question now let's move on to next question question number 10 so how to differentiate this uh, let us consider y is equal to x to the power x plus x to the power a a is constant here okay remember that a to the power x and a to the power a and that's going to be constant so if you differentiate it dy by dx that's going to be derivative of x to the power x and derivative of x to the power a so it is again a x to the power a minus 1 as a is constant uh, so we can consider this one as x to the power n isn't it if you differentiate it if you differentiate it you get n x to the power n minus 1 that's what we have done that's very simple now you see derivative of a to the power x derivative of sorry derivative of a to the power x that's going to be equal to a x log of a. this is a formula remember this one so what we have got a to the power x log of a and as this is a constant so its derivative will be zero now let us find this so how to find this let us suppose t is equal to x to the power x so you can co consider this one as f of x to the power z of x so in that case we need to take log on both sides okay taking log on both side you will get log of t is equal to log of x to the power x that can be written as x log x now if you differentiate it then you will get 1 by t dt by dx sorry dt by dx that's going to be equal to x derivative of log x is 1 by x then plus again log of x derivative of x is 1 isn't it so here x x1 so you will get dt by dx will be t into 1 plus log of x okay 1 plus log of x and t is nothing but x to the power x 1 plus log of x so dt by dx means derivative of x to the power x with respect to x isn't it so let us use this value here so then you will get dy by dx dy by dx is equal to x to the power x oh, sorry 1 plus log x plus a x to the power a minus 1 plus a to the power x log of a so this is your answer that's what so now question number 11 y is equal to x to the power x square minus 3 plus x minus 3 x square now here you see this is in this form uh, here this part is also f of x whole to the power z of x and this is also f of x to the power z of x so in this case you have sum of two functions then never start with uh, taking log okay so you have only one part only this part suppose uh, sorry 
you have only this uh, uh, this part only then you can uh, if you have y equal to this one only only this part then you can proceed uh, taking log or y is equal to this part only in that case only so you, you if you have some of these two parts then you cannot uh, take that uh, log on both side now let u is equal to x to the power x square minus 3 plus uh, sorry and v is equal to x minus 3 whole to the power x square now let us solve separately these two taking log log of u will be equal to log x to the power x square minus 3 so this can be written as log of u x square minus 3 into log x now consider this one as u and this one as b now apply the product rule if you differentiate it then you will get 1 by u as it is not a function of x then you will get again du by dx again so here it will be first function is x square minus 3 and the second function is log of x and its derivative is 1 by x then again second function is log of x and derivative of x square minus 3 that's gonna be uh, twice x only so hope you have understood this then what you will get uh, here you will get du by dx du by dx is equal to u into x square minus 3 by x plus twice x log of x so if you uh, find again dv by dx from this so what you will get so take uh, log on both sides let me write this part here v is equal to what we have got x minus 3 whole to the power x square so one more thing you can put the value of u here so that's going to be x to the power x square minus 3 into x square minus 3 by x plus twice x log x so that's what we have got du by dx now let's find dv by dx so to find that so again take log log v will be equal to log x minus 3 to the power x square that's in, that's equal to x square log x minus 3 again use the product rule to differentiate it then you will get 1 by v dv by dx is equal to taking this one as first function derivative of this is 1 by x minus 3 and if you differentiate this x minus 3 then again you will get 1 so forget it now second function log of x minus 3 and derivative of x square is twice x simply so dv by dx dv by dx will be v into x square by x minus 3 plus twice x log of x minus 3 so now let us put the value of v v is this one so if you put here x minus 3 to the power x square then you will get x square minus x minus 3 so plus twice x log of x minus 3 so now you see so here you see here we have considered this part as u and this part as v that means y is equal to u plus v so dy by dx will be du by dx plus dv by dx and we have already got these two values du by dx and dv by dx so putting these two values uh, here is the du by dx and this is dv by dx so let us use uh, these two values then you will get dy by dx is equal to du by dx plus dv by dx if you put the values here then you will get that uh, what we have got here uh, first let us put this x uh, x to the power sorry x square minus 3 x square minus 3 into x square minus 3 by x then i have this twice x log x 
plus twice x log x okay then plus let us put the value of db by dx that means this is the value of d by dx so if you put here x minus 3 whole to the power x square x square x minus 3 then plus twice x log of x minus 3 back at close so this is your answer so hope you have understood this now let's move on to question number 12 now here you see given y is equal to 12 into 1 minus cot sorry cos t and x is equal to 10 into t minus sin t so first from here we are going to find dy by dt as it is a function of t so then you will get 12 into um, so derivative of 1 is uh, 0 then derivative of cos will be uh, minus sin so minus minus it gonna be plus sin t isn't it so you can write 12 sin t simply and here let us find dx by dt first so here it will be 10 so derivative of t with respect to t is 1 and derivative of sin t is cos t so that is dx by dt so in order to find dy by dt what to do just dy by dt by dx by dt that's what we need to do so here 12 sin t by 10 into 1 minus cos t so that is your answer that's it it's very simple hope you have understood this and one more thing you can simplify it more okay if you want to simplify so let me scroll down here you see you can cancel this one by 2 then you will get 5 here and this one by 6 uh, 2 uh, you will get 6 okay so here 6 by 5 into sine t it can be written as 2 sine t by 2 into cos t by 2 that's what you can write okay and 1 minus cos t this can be written as 2 sine square t by 2 okay so if you simplify this then it becomes so let me write here one more thing okay and here 2 to cancel so if you cancel this square with this then you will get cos t by 2 by sin t by 2 then it's gonna be cot t by 2 so that's our answer okay so hope you have understood this now let's move on to next question question number 13 so here is the question number 13 here again y is equal to sine inverse x plus sine inverse root over 1 minus x square okay so how to differentiate it so dy by dx so you can differentiate it uh, like this way derivative of uh, sine inverse of x with respect to x and derivative of sine inverse of root over 1 minus x square so it is in this form sine inverse f of x isn't it and sine inverse of x we know root over one uh, sorry one by root over one minus x square and if you differentiate it with respect to x then what you will get one by root over one minus f of x square and derivative of f of x so here in this case derivative of this f of x will be uh, derivative of root one minus x square isn't it uh, if you differentiate it then you will get 1 by 2 root 1 minus x square then again you need to differentiate it then you will get minus twice x okay so here minus minus will be cancelled you will get minus x here okay so this is this part so what we will get then plus so getting plus we will get minus here and we will also get 1 by root over 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus x square because if you square this root over uh, 1 minus x square root will be removed isn't it and then again derivative of this part is what we have got minus x so 
so this minus is uh, already written here so let us keep it here a plus so this is minus x uh, root over 1 minus x square that's what you will get okay so hope you have understood this part now if you simplify this then what you will get so now here root over 1 minus x square now you see from here from this part if you simplify this under bracket uh, under root you will get 1 minus 1 plus sign sorry not sign x square isn't it and so here minus 1 plus 1 gone root over x square is nothing but x so this term will be equal to x and this x will be cancelled with this one okay so hope you have understood this so i'm not gonna show this thing all so here you see then you will get minus 1 by root over 1 minus x square so that's gonna be equal to 0 so hope you have understood so let me explain this part again this part so what we have got here 1 by root over 1 minus 1 plus x square so this to gone and this is equal to 1 by x so this x is cancelled with this x okay so hope you have understood this so this is our answer now let's move on to next question so we will solve from sorry from 14 to the last question in the next part part 2 will be uploaded soon okay so thank you for watching and if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel thank you